Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Odd Taxi episode number 11. Okay, the previous episode, um, a few things happened. Uh, quite a few things happened. Uh, first of all, Shirakawa came to <laughs> Odokawa's rescue and with her uh, martial arts, uh, I think it was called Kapio, Kapoi, something like that, I forgot the name. You know, with that martial arts technique, she completely like <laughs> beat up Yamamoto. And now, for the time being, I'm guessing Yamamoto is going to help uh, Odokawa actually, like, you know, with his plan. So that was that. And then there was this whole thing with, um, you know, like, uh, uh, Goriki trying to research on uh, Odokawa's past and going to his town, asking, uh, you know, the, going to the teacher finally. And the teacher said something which was like uh like he was it a teacher or the landlady uh oh no i think it was a teacher yeah the teacher like he said something like the like he, he's going to tell uh us about the like you know odokawa's past what he thinks and how he is probably still under the wrong impression that his mom and dad is missing and he doesn't know that he she they're dead so all these stuff are happening and we're going getting more into like you know deep into odokawa's past and at the same time you know, Odukawa is getting more deeper into this whole uh, mess with Tanaka, uh, Dobu, and you know, like, and the Diamond Brothers, like, all that stuff, Yano, like, you know, like that. And uh, also, Odukawa and like uh, Dobu made a plan of the whole transaction, you know, the whole thing that there's going to happen in the bank. And they have made a plan, and Odukawa has made a separate plan which involves, uh, like, you know, some extra steps so that they can actually capture dobu and yano like you know uh, while the everything is happening and there's a lot of things happening at the background and then by the end of it we actually get another scene where we get to know that um, the girl who has been missing has been found dead and she has been dead for quite a while now the question here like pops up then who the hell is the girl we've been seeing because the girl from the mr kids group you know the blackford girl uh, i'm under the impression that she is the one who's actually missing so if her body has been found and she has been found dead for quite a while then then it must be that the person who is we are seeing now in mystery case is an imposter isn't it so like these are all of a few questions are coming like you know like a lot of things are happening and there are a lot of questions which are still not answered probably we're going to get our answers in this couple of episodes this episode two more episodes left so yeah let's see what this episode brings so without further ado let's get started this is our taxi episode number 11 so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, the opening video will be taken, will not be shown because of copyright problems. Hmm. Okay. All right, here we go what more answers are we going to get what more huh? let's see oh this girl ambitious child oh the idol acceptance looks oh Oh, this girl! It's completely different from the other girl. This is the girl who died. 
I'm tooping in front of Okay. So both of them got. Okay. This girl. This girl has already. Oh. Okay, so they never wore the mask. Here we go. That's why they're wearing the mask now. Boy. Okay. Okay. I've given up. Okay. Not necessarily, like, yeah. <laughs> he is a nice guy, I can see that. Okay. 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 Memory? Okay. All right. Oh, no. God, oh, my God, this will completely wreck the. Wait a minute. Oh, taxi! Oh my god, it was all the cars taxi, wasn't it? What the hell? Oh my god, are all the people here like... Wait. Oh no, is she like... Whoa! Wait, who killed her? Oh my god! I'm sure she would have agreed. My God. Okay, here is where we get a substitute. Oh my God. Oh, he calls Yano here. Okay. Wow.
Okay. It really makes sense now. Oh my god. Wanted to know what this is a boss's daughter, isn't it? Boss's friend's daughter. Uh this Diamond comes in. Oh my god. Oh, this is why they're they lack money now. Oh god. So oh, they got framed for a crime that they never did. Yeah, okay, so this is the substitution. <sighs> Sakura, okay. And they start wearing masks from now on. Oh, this is what they say to them. Oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Both choice okay oh so that's why they took her in and she's also blackford Okay. Passing marks. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, oh, no one... Here we go, the CCTV camera footage. Withdraw the missile. Cover something. 
Oh iya. Hmm. God. Okay. All right. Oh my god, here we go. Ugh. Okay, now even Baba knows it. Okay, what are the fans going to tell? Like they'll be like, what is happening? Like weren't the what that guy girl There you go, oh my god, here we go. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what I was saying, you know, like they made such a huge ass uh, plan that it won't work. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, okay. That, she's talking. He's talking about her. Okay. There you go. He he's piecing it together. <laughs> God, yeah. Diamond. That's the only one left, I think. Yeah, Diamond. Boy. Oh yeah, he gets kidnapped. Great. Yeah, he, he, he got to know that yeah there you go like not only him but all the fans will think like this <laughs> yeah Okay. My god, what's going to happen now? Like, fans will be furious. I think so, at least. Hmm. True.
Who is this, Baba? I think, yeah, it's Baba. <laughs> oh, oh, this was happening at that moment. Okay, this is okay. Mm. Okay, don't fight now. Ah. Hard. Okay. <laughs> Married couple found Sarka. Fell into the sea. Double suicide. Oh, that's why here we go. Escaped on his own. Oh. Okay. Oh boy. Let's see. I don't know how the fans will take this because fans are really attached to the persons themselves so oh boy Promoted herself. What? Oh my god, they're, they're doing it like this. Tonrak Yeah Who is this? The little one? Oh no, this is the bigger one Hmm <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Are you? Okay, here we go. Boy, he's starting. <laughs> Starting the plan, the plan is starting. Hmm. Okay, what? Huh.
absolutely no memory of the accident oh but he doesn't remember why thirty years wow what oh my god this guy what the hell i yo that's like yeah i'm his friend okay all right that's the end boy okay we <laughs> okay everything's clear now most of the things are clear now what happened why it happened and you know like i was kind of right from the beginning that means like in the first episode i kind of said that uh, the person who we saw on the cctv must be the person who is in the mystery kiss so i thought at that moment i thought that maybe they are kind of hiding her for like you know for quite some time you know uh, and something is happening and they're making it like they're like what do you call it like letting the world know that yeah she's missing but she's actually not missing she is uh like, you know in the mystery kiss idol group and she's just uh, working there and uh wearing the mask so that other people won't actually recognize her i thought it was something like that but like like my, my main suspicion was correct but the reason for my thinking of it was completely wrong completely off and now i actually understand like you know what is happening and it really makes sense everything so now here the big question is like they kind of like told like showed us everything but it seemed as if they kind of tried to evade the actual question here who killed mitsuya you know <laughs> like it seemed as if they really did not go deep into that because i'm sure we'll get an answer in the future they kind of evaded that here because as soon as we find like you know mitsuya what they actually do is try to hide the body take the body somewhere else but they never actually try to find out who killed her like it's weird in a way because i think they like i don't know if they actually try to do that uh, in like you know behind you know like behind the scenes but who knows like you know like we we see that they, they find the body and yamamoto is like okay we need to hide this we need to take this somewhere and like help like make it so that it doesn't become a scandal okay we need to replace her we need to find an, another person like all these things like they bring in yano all that stuff like, they do everything like that but they never do actually try to find out who killed her now like okay now i can i kind of understand why he actually did this because he doesn't want it any like you know like because it's it was just beginning to start their uh you know their fame so he didn't want that to suddenly plummet back down because of whole this whole thing so he tried to uh like, you know hide this but like i don't know like it it completely went spiraling down from that and yamamoto i'm sure yamamoto also realizes that now you know like getting involved with yano was the biggest mistake that he did at that moment like now like you know like they're like they're going to give their profit 50 percent or something they said i can't remember how much they said you know it's going to go to yano because of all the like you know um uh, what do you call it all the expenses that uh, happened to actually dispose the body and like you know all the other stuff they're kind of like dark with yano now and and that that's probably the reason why he actually decided to work with odokawa because he also wanted to get out of this whole mess he doesn't want anything to happen to mr kiss even if he himself gets arrested now i would have you know like i would have pr probably suspected yamamoto here if i didn't see the previous episode like, you know if, if the previous episode didn't happen if you didn't get the little session with yamamoto in the previous sec episode i would have said that you know what 
Yamamoto is suspicious because he has he has always been in this building and like you know and when like uh what, what's her name uh when the girl the the main girl uh, I, from the idol when she comes in and sees Mitsuya dead he suddenly pops in and she's he's like what's happening here you know and then they find the body like it's, it's very like what do you call it like you know it's very um, weird because like it's, it's as if like he was at the right moment at the right uh, right place at the right time and i would have suspected him if episode 10 didn't happen episode 10 really made us realize that yamamoto actually doesn't you know like everything is for mystery kiss that he's doing so he really doesn't care about anything else he even said that yeah i don't care if i go to you know prison like if mystery kiss is okay i'll help you guys i'll even get arrested for that so like that probably shows that he he didn't kill her so he, like so then who like who would even kill her like i i can't see any connections here because all the characters that we have met nobody even knew mitsuya that much the only people who knew mitsuya were um who's the, the main girl and uh, the white cat girl i i always forget their name their name is quite difficult to remember you know that girl and uh the other idol the the one with the, a patch in her you know ears under her ears that girl yamamoto and uh the fan uh what all their names just a sec like these are the few characters who actually knew mitsuya from the beginning uh, imai so now the question here is that who killed her then most probably one of the people who actually knew her like i doubt uh, yano or dobu is involved in this because they didn't even know her before this started so these are the few people who actually knew her and obviously odokawa also kind of took her in her taxi uh, like, uh, uh, transported her so like obviously but odokawa obviously is not the criminal here so it must be either of the people who kn knows them so like <sighs> Like I'm kind of now I'm kind of suspecting like Yamamoto is off like I'm I'm not uh, suspecting Yamamoto because I doubt he did this you know because he everything like you know like everything uh is like the the, the mystery case is more important to him than his life it seems as if so Yamamoto is out uh the main girl uh the white cat girl what was her name uh just a sec. Nikaido, yeah, Nikaido. Nikaido. Nikaido is also scratched out of this list. She is not a suspect because she is the one who actually told her to come to the agency. And she did decide to kill her if she didn't, like, you know, uh, step down. But before that, she, like, you know, she, she was dead. So she's also out. The only person that now I'm suspecting is Ichimura Shiho, the other girl of the idol group. She, you know what? I really do suspect her. The reason is that she, she, she it seems as if she's always under the radar. <laughs> you know? Like like, like she, the, the, the thing is that uh, the reason why I'm suspecting her is that because she actually doesn't have anything to do with this. That's why I'm suspecting her. You know? Like everyone who has something to do with this murder is like you know Yamamoto and uh, Nikaido both of them are kind of involved in this whole thing and they also knew uh, Mitsuya but they did not commit the murder the person who is who seems as if the least one who is involved with this murder might be the actual murderer because she knew Mitsuya you know from the beginning and like and it seems as if she is not involved in this that's why basically i'm, I'm suspecting her <laughs> it's kind of a weird like you know reason for suspecting her but yeah it, it does seem a little bit suspicious that she actually doesn't have anything to do with this she's not even involved in this whole mess so and you know she she, she doesn't even know that she's dead like the, the people like you know the manager yamamoto and they're kind of tricking her and saying that yeah 
she she went missing so yeah basically that's why i'm suspecting her i might be completely wrong i think i am wrong because um it's kind of a weird reason to actually suspect her but who knows maybe we'll get some kind of a twist and maybe it'll really turn out that he she is the murderer so let's just wait for it because i don't see any other character actually involved with mitsuya that you know that who can kill her like who even is involved with her like no one like no one knew her like even the like you know her identity was kind of like kept a secret uh from like everyone uh like you know from the and the idol group like people just thought that she was just a normal girl and that's why like the only people involved with her are the three girls uh, the two girls and yamamoto so now like i doubt like some you know other character will be introduced this late in the scene and it, it'll be like oh like this person had a grudge on her that's why he or she killed her i doubt that's going to happen i like this is the 11th episode the 12th and 13th episodes are left i doubt they're going to like introduce a new character and they'll be like oh this person was the actual murderer who we never knew all this time i doubt that's going to happen but there might be another thing that could happen is maybe we're going to realize that the, an, a character who we've already always known maybe uh, that uh, that character had a previous connection with mitsuya and we never knew that could happen you know? and probably because of that that person killed mitsuya like you know like the thing that um uh, yamamoto said in the press conference that maybe she had some kind of a connection with the, one of the fans maybe that's true you know like who knows so maybe one of the fans did it but I doubt that's going to happen because, uh, you know, like usually the murder or the, like whatever, like the, the killer is usually one of the characters who have been introduced from probably the beginning. I think it's like one of the main, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, laws of detective, uh, like, you know, stories. The Ten Commandments of something I forgot. Uh, I completely forgot. Knox, ah, Knox 10 commandments of de detective fiction. One of the commandments is that the criminal should, like, you know, not be introduced suddenly, almost at the end. The criminal should be uh, present from the beginning of the, like, you know, uh, of everything. So, even, even though, like, most, like, in a lot of, like, detectives, and this is not a detective anime, you know, like, even though most of the detective animes usually, animes or, like, stuff doesn't usually, uh, follow these 10 commandments like these are just like some rules which make a detective story even better that's just it this is just a little you know, regulations but still like you know it is there for a reason and people kind of follow this to make a story a little better so that's why i'm saying like i doubt they're going to introduce a character suddenly in the end and they're going to say that yeah this was the murderer and i doubt that's going to happen so i'm sure it is someone who we've already met and maybe that person, like, you know, at, at least we think that that person didn't have any connection with Mitsuya. But maybe, like, in the end, we're going to see that they had a connection with her. And that's why they killed her. Like, Yano could be the one, you know, like, who knows? Like, maybe Yano had a connection with Mitsuya. And he just, like, you know, killed her. And then after they called her, he just came and acted as if he didn't know her. You know, uh, maybe Dobu, who knows? Like, anyone can be, like, you know, like, because Dobu and Yano probably also had a little bit of a connection to Mitsuya in a way because it's their boss's friend's daughter so I don't know like anyone can be the m m culprit here we don't know and that's the thing but for now I'll probably be suspecting the other girl <laughs> as I said um, Ichimura Shiho I'll be suspecting her for the time being there are two episodes left. I'm sure we're going to get some answers who killed, uh, like, you know, uh, Mitsuya. And I'm, I'll be waiting for that. <laughs> so, yeah, it'll be really a big twist if actually we find out that uh, Ichimura Shiho is the other, other girl of the idol group. is the one who actually killed her or something. It'll be a really big twist. But... Alright, anyways. Um, oh, um... <laughs> Now I'm suspecting everybody, you know, or maybe that girl, you know, the, the, the new girl who is taking um, uh, Mitsuya's place. Uh, what was her name? Sakura, wasn't it? Yeah, like, maybe, maybe she killed her, you know, maybe it was like, you know, like, 
<laughs> as I said, I'm suspecting everyone now. Like maybe it was something like she said something like, yeah, I was the fourth one, you know, that's why I didn't get selected. So I was really like, you know, it was a shame. I was very sad. Maybe that was the motive, you know? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm suspecting everybody at this point. So, so forget everything. <laughs> yeah, like no point in <laughs> trying to find out the culprit here. Like I'm just like, you know, throwing stones at the dark now. Like, is, is that a, I don't know if that's like a saying, but you know, I'm just like, trying to I guess at this point but anyways yeah all right uh, so this episode here we get the whole backstory of what happened you know now one thing like you know like um, the girl uh, Nikaido yeah Nikaido like we see everything from her perspective and we always like we can see that she has always has kind of like an inferiority complex you know, she always thought that yeah like you know like this girl is better than me and you know all these things so like she now one thing i was kind of surprised here is that she really did like baba and like i think i kind of mentioned this in one of the previous episodes i kind of said that maybe like what I, i'm not sure i'm still not able to pinpoint whether she actually likes baba or she is just pretending to like him so like you know like and like i kind of found it a little bit suspicious that the way she usually talks with others like in a very skeptical manner in a very suspicious manner like she's always this type of has like a uh, hidden face behind her happy smiling face that's why i like you know i i thought that everything that she does was kind of like a fake thing she like she kind of a pretense that she puts on so when i suddenly saw him interacting with her interacting with baba at the beginning, I thought maybe she's doing the same thing, like, you know, kind of like buttering him up just because he is famous now. But then when she, like, you know, in the end, we, we see that she kind of hugged him and, and something like all that stuff. And I thought that, okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she really does like Baba. And this episode really answered that question. She, obviously, she, at, the, at the beginning, she was skeptical about Baba. But by the end of it, she really did start liking him. And, um, <clears throat> like, so you know what like th this is another good great thing about this anime here um baba all this time you know we everything we were seeing was from shibagaki's perspective the other one from the Ho homo sapiens you know like he it, it seemed as if like he was like you know like um uh, wanting to do like you know the combi together again him and uh, baba and he wanted to like you know again do the stuff together become like you know as they were before and like you know like and all this time like, i was kind of thinking like ah oh, like baba is kind of like you know like in a way like i feel bad for shibagaki the way baba is doing this like you know he doesn't even it seems as if he doesn't even care now about shibagaki he's in his own world you know like his own popularity he's busy with that i kind of felt bad for shibagaki and i kind of felt a little bit um what do you call it like uh didn't feel good about Baba. I was. I didn't have a positive impression about him. But this episode, I like. How the, is it even possible? Like they completely twist that here. Like here, the whole situation with Baba and Shibagaki really like paints a completely different picture. Like as soon as we saw how she and like you know he and uh, uh, what's her name uh, Nikaido interacted and how he was so what do you call it. Uh, like you know kind in a way where we see he kind of gets up and lets the old person sit in her in his place and that little thing completely changed at least my perspective of him and then when the next thing comes in like you know involving baba and shibagaki where they are in the like, you know the place where to uh, for the audition or whatever you know here like shibagaki says that oh like you were not like you know like you're not doing every everything uh, that you can do you're just like you know like you're tired of it you uh you, you let the uh, you know your popularity go to your head something like that he was saying and when she like you know when uh baba says that you know what you know the actual problem here is you you are the person who actually criticizes everyone the the thing that is in fad now you know the thing that is popular now you're actually criticizing it and like acting as if the manzai comedy that you always did you know is better than everybody and you are better than everybody 
and uh, the, the thing that you are doing that in itself is a, the reason uh, no, no that in itself kind of shows that you are insecure about your own craft about the way you do stuff so like you know like nowadays manzai uh, like you know like you would you're just like putting others down just to make yourself feel good so this won't do, do anymore i'm not going to do bonsai anymore yeah like we're splitting up and like this scene completely changed my perspective and now i think that yeah baba is right shibagaki is the actual uh what do you call it one in a little bit fault here because now i kind of rec like realize that the thing that baba said is actually true like we've seen shibagaki always criticizing all the other people he's like makes fun of them like you know all the other people who are popular who are like you know who's who are getting more popular getting more what do you call it uh what do you call it yeah popular they were getting more popular and he always like criticized them made fun of them in a way tried to use that as her as his comedy like demeaning others making like himself feel better that he, he was just trying to do that and in a way baba is correct you know like unless and until he does gets lets that get off of his mind he won't be able to excel in his craft i'm not saying that manzai won't sell i'm saying that he should not do it like that he should put his heart on whatever he's doing and try to do it in his own not like demeaning others like like what type of comedy and like you know uh, what do you call it like uh, is that like you're demeaning others and making yourself like you know you're like boosting your own ego and trying to use that as comedy like that's no way to actually do this so yeah like this really com completely changed my perspective on baba and shibagaki like <laughs> like that's really the well done like at least for you know for me like i i am like you know i i kind of felt like this i'm not sure about you guys how you guys felt about baba and shibagaki but all this time i kind of was a little bit sympathetic towards shibagaki and didn't really think much about baba you know i didn't really like baba but this episode bam it completely like <laughs> reverses <laughs> so yeah good job this anime like <laughs> yeah boy okay so anyways that was that and okay so yeah we see like all that stuff uh nikaido uh she like you know she, she as i said like, you know she's very uh has very low self-esteem uh has a uh, inferiority complex and like i really don't understand like all the people like, well, not all but most of the people here like whenever like i kind of kind of can understand not understand no i cannot understand you know what like i really I am unable to understand the the reason why nikaido you know just because she is unable to become good herself she just decides to kill like you know uh misuya like i understand like you know i understand that she like you know she just uh you know she wouldn't have probably killed her she would have just probably asked her and uh like you know probably they would have had a you know what i really don't know maybe he could she would have actually killed her if she refused you know like i'm saying that i i don't think that she would have actually killed her but maybe she would have like we don't know what would have happened after after they had a conversation this could have gone a completely different way so yeah that's what i'm saying like i i really am unable to understand that how can someone's inferiority complex be in such a like you know how can someone be like this that they can commit a crime just so that they can like you know like someone who's better than them that they can take them down like she's even okay to commit a crime for that so like, not only her Tanaka, like just like what what does he do he's trying to kill odokawa just because he lost a gacha game like what the hell like all these people needs to go and see a doctor as soon as possible like this is not healthy like obviously tanaka is obviously not healthy he needs someone to like take a look at his brain like he needs to go to the mental hospital as soon as possible like who even does that like you know like because of a gacha game like i'm trying to I'm, I'll, I'll kill someone <laughs> like god damn and like um nikaido as well you know like yeah they they really need some help in a way because at the, at the beginning he really she really did think that yeah if I'll, I'll go tell her that you like you know 
you refuse the uh, offer of becoming the lead, main lead you know so only then like you know like i'll ex accept her otherwise i'll kill her i'll just kill her and then i'll become the you know top like how can someone's brain even go in that direction just because you yourself are unable to become like, you know excel at your uh you know crap like it's like a competition like i like i understand like idol like you know idol the whole idol business is a big competition not only between the different idol groups but also between the members themselves you know this is like a big competition and uh, like i kind of understand but who knows maybe people really are there really does exist people like this who will just for tribal reasons you know they they can commit a crime yeah there does exist people like that like who, what am i even saying this this is like a huge world there's a loss of people and there's a loss of like, things that happens lots of crimes that gets committed just because of some weird stupid reason and this is also one of them in a way so like yeah like being ambitious is good but having such ambition that it like you know it, it will completely make you crazy like this like yeah like i wouldn't want to become the best so i can also commit a crime for that like that's not good so oh boy like anyways like it's really fun like you know like here we actually see like you know one of the girls uh like she said that i like you know like uh, the, the new girl sakura i think that was her name she said something like uh, i was very depressed but whenever i saw you guys on the stage i became happy like what are idols idols are that you know like idols are people uh, like who bring happiness to you I think they like kind of say something like we be like you know, we bring dreams, hope to the audiences. We make them happy. You know that's what idols are. That's why they always like you know make that big smile and kind of like you know always are in this happy type of a thing. Whereas like uh, like I'm not sure if this is correct or not, but as far as I've heard, like behind that, like the idol industry is very difficult, very competitive and very like you know like what can i say cruel in a way like the idols who are making us laugh us like you know happy so much they themselves <coughs> excuse me <coughs> they themselves are not that happy so this is the ironical thing that <coughs> the people <coughs> who are bringing us happiness themselves are not happy <coughs> in that process <coughs> so uh, anyways okay and then we get to see the whole thing and here we also we get to realize that what happened the taxi that um <coughs> that <coughs> nikaido told mitsuya to come in it was odokawa's taxi and so whatever happened happened after that so odokawa dropped her in the agency he gets in and by the time that uh, Nik uh, nikaido comes in in that small amount of time the murder happened i don't know who killed her or what you know happened and they didn't even investigate her body they just took her and like you know disposed her off so we have no clue like what happened and how it happened who killed her no clue on that it seemed as if uh just a sec let me check the out the body once again mm. She was being seated in the. <coughs> Just a sec. Yeah, she is being seated on the um, chair, and it seems this is like uh, you know a little drool falling for her from her mouth. Now, I think the most probable cause of death here must be strangulation. Otherwise, I don't see like you know like the drool like there's no external injuries as far as I could see. So <clears throat> yeah, either strangulation or maybe poison. You know, who knows? So it's either that like they didn't even like, like see what happened to. It. They just like looked at her and like yeah, we need to dispose this off. And I think like uh, Yano kind of took a picture. That's the only clue we have about like, trying to find out the criminal. But yeah, like at this point, I'm kind of suspicious of everybody except 
you know, um, a, a few characters like Odokawa, Shirakawa, Goriki. Now, obviously, they are not even involved in this completely. But at this point, like everyone involved with uh, Mitsuya, I'm kind of suspicious of them in some way or the other. Like, you know, like uh, like uh, uh, only uh, Nikaido is out of suspicion because she's the one who actually called her. Otherwise, everyone, even Yamamoto, I kind of suspect him as well. Like I don't know. Even though it seemed as if he really like cares about Mr. Kiz, who knows, he maybe had some other kind of a plan or something. So at this point, yeah, everyone is a suspect here. But anyways, okay, that happened. And then we get to actually realize that why they wear the mask. I kind of like deduced this before. That I, like, you know, I kind of said that, that maybe uh, in the previous episode only, like maybe they are like wearing the, using the mask so that they are unable to spot the difference. So yeah, that's, that's the main thing here. We can see that. So, the new girl, Sakura, I think that's her name, she, after she gets in, like, they start wearing the mask and the fans doesn't even actually uh, realize that. And they try to track down Odokawa, like Yamamoto and, um, uh, what's, what's his name? Yano. And that was all that was happening behind the scenes. Nikaido didn't even know about that. But Nikaido became slowly, slowly more... <laughs> miserable you know like the whole stress kind of fell on him her and she became so like, you know depressed and all but as he she said like you know baba was the only source sort of uh, source of comfort but then comes in the news of uh Mitsuya's death and now odukawa kind of catches it he he talks with yamamoto and kind of implies that yeah like you i know what you guys were doing actually I, all the secrets are out but Yamamoto kind of cuts that call in the middle. So, yeah. And then uh, the whole thing with um, Imai, I think that was his name? Imai or Iwai? Uh, the, the fan. Uh, Imai. Yeah, Imai. The whole thing with Imai, like she, he gets kidnapped and now he's depressed because obviously they were also tricking the fans. Now, <laughs> the thing here is, like, as far as I know, like, mm, the audience the fans are actually really become attached to the individual like people in the idol group you know like we see the press conference happening the press conference people doesn't give a damn what happens to the idol they, they, they just want their scoop you know that's all that matters so nothing that sort will happen in the press conference like they'll have the press conference and it'll end there but the problem will start when like you know they will actually come into contact with the fans because I'm sure there are a lot of people who really liked, um, you know, what's her name? Uh, Mitsuya, yeah, Mitsuya. But uh, like this, and also another thing to look at it in this way, we can also look at it in this way, that they had not debuted at that time. So probably the people who liked them were kind of low, and uh, Yamato has himself kind of explained that, you know, the, <clears throat> that there were a few people who actually knew Mitsuya and most of the people who know them now uh, knows the girl with the mask on so there are a few people who actually knew Mitsu uh, Mitsuya herself uh, so probably that like you know like the f amounts of fans who actually liked Mitsuya are probably a lot less but still, like, you know, like, how will it actually feel when the fans will actually realize that they were tricking them, you know, like, how will it feel, it will, they will feel betrayed in a way, and the whole thing of Idol, like, you know, is like, the interaction, the connection with the fans, so they are basically betraying that trust, so I don't know how this will go after this, like, you know, I don't even know why, <coughs> like, you know, uh, like Yamamoto who is so like you know like what can I say like who is so concerned about the idol group why did he even take such a risk like he could have just went to the police and said that this this happened obviously their popularity which was going would have gone down completely but like now the problem they're going to face are a lot more and if if something like you know like if, if they actually realize that Yamamoto and all the other idol people are also like you know involved in this whole disposal of the body they're done the, yeah the, it, it's over for them they won't be able to even get back to the idol business again never again and Yamamoto's dream of making mystery kiss big will just completely shatter like 
I don't know, like, I'm, I'm sure, like, you know, at the moment, heat of the moment, he probably thought something like, we can handle this. We can keep this under the rug forever. No one will be able to know. But nah, things doesn't happen like that. It comes out sooner or later. And look at this now. This is a mess. Like, what are they even going to do now? Like, this has become a whole scandal now. Oh, God. Yeah, that's what hap happens. And then we get a little scene with... Uh, Shibagaki and Baba and I kind of talked about it late, previously you know like I was like, you know my whole perspective on on them changed and now I feel as if like Baba is completely right you know like Shibagaki is the one who is kind of you know not properly doing it you know like he's kind of getting um uh, jealous of the other people and trying demeaning them just for the sake of comedy that's not good and that that was that and then we get to goriki uh you know uh researching on odukawa and his family now one thing we actually realized is uh that is like uh this showed us that it seemed as if like the, the the car fell in the water wasn't it yeah and everyone's saying like it looked like a double suicide but odukawa kind of came out of it probably like, you know without being harmed and but this is only one problem that Urukawa has that he forgot everything in that moment and i'm guessing after that he he, he gets that synesthesia problem you know that he has and uh, yeah and then they meet the doctor you know and i was really triggered at what the doctor said you know like like how like uh, that's not how you talk with someone like you know like uh, when Gorihi was asking him that, can you tell me the details, doctor? The doctor was like, uh, oh, I know you said you're Odokawa's doctor, but it's not meant for a GP. I'm guessing GP means general physician. GP like you to see. Like, what the hell? Like, like how can someone even say that? Like, god damn, like, he's not only, in, like, he's, he's, he's basically insulting Gorihi like that. Like, I don't know, like, these people and like Gorik had a perfect response to that he was like nah i'm not doing this because i'm his doctor i'm doing this because i'm his friend god my god okay and uh, yeah that was that and now the plan will start the whole bank robbery um hopefully everything goes well hopefully nothing happens to uh, odokawa i'm kind of concerned about tanaka because he has been missing for quite a few episodes i don't know when he's going to pop up and start shooting so yeah, that's another problem to think about. So hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully nothing happens to Odokawa and it ends in a good note. So I'm, I'll be wishing for that. <laughs> yeah, guys, that was it. Thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Odd Taxi episode number 11. So if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. So yeah. So that was it guys, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Our Taxi. So until then goodbye and have a nice day.